Consider a particle moving in a circular path. Let O be the center of the circle and let at any point the particle is at the point A. At any instant of time, the particle is at the point A. Let R represents the position vector of the point A, that is this one equal to R. And let there be a force F acting at the point A in like this. And if you extend the R further, then this will be the angle between the force and the position vector. Let's call that as phi. So this force can be resolved into one along the horizontal direction. We let, let's call this as fx, where fx equal to f cos phi. And let's call this one as the perpendicular component as fy, fy equal to f sin phi, f sin phi. So, so this, these two are the components of this force F. Now, let due to this due to this force, let the particle be displaced through a small distance, distance small angular distance d theta. That is, let this be the small angular distance covered by the particle. Let's call the angle it covered be d theta and now the particle is at the point B. Clear. Now, so the small displacement is this one. This small displacement AB we have the small linear displacement AB let's call that as DS and we have DS is equal to DS is equal to we have R D theta R times D theta we have R equal to radius into angle let's call that as equation number one now we can find separately the work done by these two forces Let's say the work done by the force, the work done by the force Fx, we have, let's, let's take that as dw1, since the displacement is small, the work done will also be small, dw1 is equal to, we have Fx dot the displacement, the AB. But you know fx ds, the angle between, since fx is perpendicular to the displacement, this one is equal to 90, this angle is 90, we have a dot b equal to a b cos theta, similarly f dot ds equal to uh, f, f ds cos 90. Since cos 90 is equal to 0, the entire term will be 0. So dw work done by fx will be 0. Similarly, the work done by the second force by the force Fy dw2 is equal to, let's take that as dw2, dw2 is equal to, we have Fy dot ds. But if you look at Fy and ds, which means they are that is this displacement and this force, they are along the same direction. So you can write this as Fy ds cos 0 degree. And you know Fy equal to F sin phi, F sin phi, ds equal to R d theta, R d theta cos 0 equal to 1 into 1. Implies dw2 dw2 is equal to c. This can be written as r of sin phi dot d theta. So dw2 is equal to, now look at this, this one, r of sin theta, that is per, perpendicular force into, sorry, force into perpendicular distance. Force into perpendicular distance is the torque. 
or the equation of torque is actually r of sin phi. So torque d theta. So that is dw. Now to get the total work, we have to add the work done by these two forces. Therefore, the total work dw. Total work dw will be the sum of the works done by these two forces. Clear. So this is equal to dw1, we got that as 0 and dw2 is equal to tau d theta. So therefore dw, the work done dw is equal to tau d theta. So work done will be torque times the angular displacement. 